Hi, I'm Rachel from Vimetrica, and I'm here to show you our new alcohol by volume test kit, which makes it possible to, for you to test alcohol by volume in your wine, beer, or any alcoholic beverage at home with accurate and precise results. The kit comes with everything you need to get started. However, you will need a 10 ml or 25 ml burette if you don't already have one. Um, you will also need, well, we also recommend um, for faster incubation time that you use a heating source that can get to about 40 degrees Celsius. We recommend using um, a heating blanket or any other source that can maintain a constant heat. Um, I am also going to be using deionized water throughout the procedure. Distilled water is also okay. It is necessary to use ultra pure water, to, so to make sure you use recently purchased deionized water or brand new. To begin, remove the cap from each reaction bottle used. Inspect each bottle to make sure they are clean before the assay. With the 5 mil volumetric pipette, and pipette bulb, you will pipette exactly 5 mils into each reaction bottle. The oxidant is corrosive, so make sure you wear protective gear before handling. We recommend running a fresh blank with each assay, so I filled two reaction bottles, one for my wine sample and one for my blank. It's important that the step is accurate and reproducible. See the appendix of the manual or more videos for further instruction. Now you will pipette 100 microliters of the sample into the sample bucket of the reaction bottle. We recommend using the 100 microliter pipette provided in the kit. It is necessary to practice good pipetting technique. Uh, for more information on this, see the appendix in the manual or further videos for instruction. Once you load your sample into the bucket, immediately place the bucket into the reaction bottle and securely close the lid. Now do the same procedure, same pipetting, pipetting technique with your blank sample. Use a fresh tip and for your blank you'll use ultra pure distilled or deionized water. immediately place the sample bucket into the second reaction bottle. Place all finished reaction bottles in a warm area. I'm going to be using a heating blanket and uh, cover the reaction bottles with a cardboard box. This will bring the temperature inside the cardboard box to about 40 degrees Celsius. Um, and then I'm going to allow the samples to incubate um, for about 12 to 18 hours. You may also incubate at uh, room temperature, but the incubation time will be close to 24 hours or possibly longer. See your manual for further instruction.
incubation is complete, remove all reaction bottles from the heat source and allow the samples to cool for about five minutes. When the samples are complete, you will see now that the orange oxidant is now brownish green. And the blank sample is still orange. You will now fill your burette with the titrant provided. I am using um, our new auto burette refillers. Note your initial volume, which mine's at zero. So now you're gonna start your first titration of your sample. Very carefully, remove the lid of the first reaction bottle. And set aside. You will now add 10 mils of ultra pure deionized water. Excuse me while I grab a pipette. Now you're going to add two mils of the ABV developer solution. Once you add the solution, immediately begin adding the titrant slowly in a dropwise fashion. You want to titrate the sample till it's about an olive green color. Not quite there yet. See, this is our olive green color. You now want to add one, one mil of your starch indicator. We'll turn the solution dark, almost black. You're now continue the titration. Slowly add one drop at a time at this point. Point when the solution turns this light bluish color. Note the end point. I'm at 4.8. You will now repeat this procedure, the same exact one for your blank vial. You can set this off to the side for the moment. Oh, um, and also you want to refill your burette, um, especially if you have a 10 mil burette. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that.
we've reached my end point. And the final volume on that is 9.22 with the initial at zero. Now you're ready to calculate your results. The simple calculation is to take the difference between your blank and your sample and multiply that number by 2.88. So in our example, I got 9.22 mils for my blank and I got 4.8 mils for my sample. So the difference of that um, multiplied by 2.88 comes out to 12.7% alcohol by volume in my wine sample. the hazards of the materials, it's important to dispose of the completed samples as directed to as in the manual um, and continue to wear your protective gear. For each reaction bottle, you want to um, place about 20 mils of water, um, 5 grams of calcium hydroxide that was supplied to you in the kit, and about half a gram of sulfite, either um, sodium sulfite or potassium metabisulfite. Um, into a waste container made of glass or um, polyethylene composition. So I added about um, 10 grams calcium hydroxide and 1 gram sodium sulfite in about, four, oh yeah, about 50 mils of water here. Um, so just carefully add the contents here to your waste container. Um, you can, can just kind of gently rinse this out with some DI water. Fine, do the same with your any other reaction bottles you may have. Gently just give this a stir. You want to ensure that the orange color has completely disappeared um, and all you can see is either white or a bluish green color. Um, the remains will be safe for disposal when the mass settles on the bottom of the container and the supernatant um, or the, the liquid above is clear. Um, if you have more tests to do, it's safe to leave this container here like this, just with a cover on it. Um, or you may dispose of you may dispose of the supernatant once it's complete in a sewer system and the solids may be thrown away into a normal solid waste system. Uh, for further disposal details, please see the manual.